Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. So this is another reorganization video for my craft room. And my craft room has uh, things that I use for paper crafting and junk journals. You know, all that type of thing. So, in case you haven't seen any of my videos before, that is what I store in here and what I do in here. So... This drawer I showed you last week. This is a nine drawer dresser that I'm working on now. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would, but I haven't had a lot of time so to work on it. So maybe that's why it seems like it's taking longer. But what I did last week on my video was, uh, let's see, where were these? Maybe they're falling down. <laughs> but I cleaned out this drawer right here and, uh, you know, reorganized. These are game cards, playing cards, and flash cards. So I was able to, I took all the flashcards out of here and I made some bundles for my shop. And then I had two empty drawers over there in my little stack of, you know, I have three drawer units that are stacked in a set of four. So a lot of drawers, but I emptied two of them while I was cleaning out this drawer because I had flashcards here, flashcards there. Took all the flashcards, made a bundle, made some bundles for my shop. A little kind of like a little D stash. And then I was able to get all the flashcards in those two drawers over there. So there's no flashcards in here now. So you can see I have some, you know, there's some room down in here now. Not that I want to fill it up. I like it just like this. I still have to dig through here if I want to find, you know, maybe a certain card or something. But I also did the same thing with my playing cards. Took them all out of here. Took everything out of here. And I took all of them. It was quite a, it's quite a lot of work to make these bundles. Let me tell you, if you see the bundles in people's shops, don't think that they're just like whipping them together. Because you have to spread them all out. And, you, know, you know, it's kind of, it's a lot of work. I don't want to, you know, dwell on that. But just, uh, you know, don't take that for granted. So anyway, after I took them all out and made some bundles... I uh, contracted them so far as to take the ones that were in a double box. A lot of them I took out because they weren't, you know, I had to use a lot of the cards or put some of the cards in my bundles and to save room in here. And I put them in little rubber bands like this instead of having them in their boxes. But back here in the corner, I do have one stack of boxes there and I have a few over here. So I didn't take all the boxes out. I like the plastic boxes, especially because they have a clear lid. So I kept all of the plastic boxes of cards. You know, some of them come in a plastic box with a double set of cards in there. And then a couple, I kept a couple of the boxes too. So anyway, it all fits in here nicely. Game cards and playing cards and the postcards are in here that I showed you, you know, like these last week. So that drawer is now done. <laughs> So we have three drawers here done, and two drawers here done. I have one over there done. If I need to do this one and this, have this row done, then I have two more to do over there. So, and there's a lot in those drawers too, the two that I have left. So this week I thought I'd tackle this one. So right now I'm taking everything out, so we'll see how long this takes. But let me, let me uh, face you down a little bit more so you can see this drawer better. I'm going to push you down a little bit. And there we go. <laughs> Sorry, a little jerk there. Uh, okay, there you go. Now you can see. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I have in here. This store I have labeled ephemera. So it's just all kinds of things in here that I put into junk journals. You know what I mean? I uh, use them for tuck spots, decorating, whatever, anything like that. Uh, making tags, just it could be anything. So these are some little uh, dominoes that are cardboard. So it's like a little car cardboard domino game. <laughs> And I'll kind of go through this. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quick. This is a bag of stamps that I got at an antique store. Just all different kind of stamps uh, in there. This is a bag of stamps I saved from work. These are the, all the patriotic or U.S. type flag and things like that kind of stamps. Yes, yeah, some more stamps. And then I have this bag of stamps that I also saved. I'm letting air out of them as we go through here. But... Um, this bag is supposed to be all like the stamps that I save from work that are, uh, have pictures on them. So, 
you know, anything that has a picture that's not a flag. Okay, another bag of stamps. Let's see, I have more stamps in here. I should combine, because I used to, before I had acquired those big bags, I had them all in this little container. And it's just a little plastic container. And these were all the stamps that were pictures. So I need to combine that with those. I'm going to put those two together. We'll get to that in a minute. These are some matchbooks that I had a bunch of match, matchbooks and I sold a bunch but I wanted to keep some for myself so this is the ones I kept for myself and let's see these are just some little game cards they're all, oh these are from Candyland these are uh, little playing cards uh, from Candyland with the different colors and these are from a game I don't remember which one these are from I might have found them just like this or in a game I'm not sure but they look like big tickets so I thought those were cool. Anyway, everything came, all this stuff came from thrift stores, of course. <laughs> so uh, let's see what I have here. Uh, this is just, you know, there's a lot, there's probably a lot of random stuff in here. Let me see, this is a little letter of some kind. Uh, it maybe wasn't, let me put this down for a second. What is this? Very interesting, I would say. Oh, it's a little letter. Uh, it looks like an original from 1909. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. remember what it says. I'm not going to read it right now because, you know, I want to read it right at time. This is some, as you can see, negatives. Some, uh, I think most of these were mine from my own pictures that I cleaned out. I had a bunch of envelopes, and I think that's what these are from. I don't think I bought these because I... I have a source where I could buy more of these if I wanted to, but I haven't needed to because I have all those um, little pieces of ephemera that I've found at thrift stores. So here's a dry cleaning and laundering a little booklet, some bills, some random bills from someone. <laughs> readers, oh, these probably I probably found these in a Reader's Digest books book or box or something. So that's just from Reader's Digest. Here's some little, uh, I love these, i got to remember to use these, but these are really cool little uh, folders there. Have the month on them with a little tab and all these little squares, so a little chart type thing on the front and back. So those are cool right there. I like those a lot. And then here's some other random papers. This is, uh, it says Hotel Roanoke. Virginia Holding Corporation a bill or a receipt. Some of the things I have here are from railroads. This I don't know why it says hotel. Roanoke. I mean, that's just a company, I guess. Cash remittances. Hotel Roanoke for the month of September. Thirty-four thousand dollars back in nineteen thirty-eight. Nineteen thirty-eight. So I don't know what it's for, but. That's a lot of money back then, right? <laughs> like, that's a lot of money now. <laughs> so, two more letters here. Very old letters from 1962 and 19... This is 1960-something. They feel like there's letters inside, and there's, the envelopes are torn here. You got some old stamps. But that's just... I, I might have got those at an antique store. And, let's see. I had purchased at one point some bottle cap... Milk bottle caps... This is uh, them right here, so I love to use those in my journal. So let me close that bag up. Okay, what else? We've got to move if we want to get this out and back in, right? Maybe I'll uh, go ahead and take everything out and just tell you what it is as I put it back in for the rest of it. So let me get it all out of here because I want to take it all out and see if there's, you know, what I want to do here. So this little card here goes in my card drawer. These must have fell from the top. They can fall through the back here and go into the next drawer, you know. I don't know if your dressers are like that, but this one is like that. So, yeah, that goes up there. This one I'm going to throw out. Here's some coasters. Uh, these are cigar labels. Here's some more cigar labels, more coasters. <laughs> I do use these things, but there's a bunch in here. So, here are some. These are blue Rolodex cards. Let's see, I've got in the middle here something. I have a stool right here, too. I'm going to put a stack of few things on over there. Oh, these are paint chips. 
Oh, I didn't notice at Walmart this week, but last week I happened to walk by the paint chips and they were all gone. I don't know if they're getting new ones or they're like, oh, the junk journalers are using all our paint, picking, stealing all of our <laughs> paint chips. No more free paint chips or something. I don't know. I'll see if there's more new ones the next time I go. I'll try to remember to look. I didn't go by that area today when I was there. Or yesterday, actually, it was. A bunch of old black and whites. I... I find these once in a while at one of my thrift stores and I was finding some uh, for a rather an okay price but now I can't find any at the okay price now they're all at a higher price so I haven't bought any lately so that is all I have with those let's see oh here's another card that goes up in the other drawer so here is some now I know I didn't get this from your creative studio I don't know where I got it someone might have sent this to me in happy mail but it looks like something I would have gotten from your creative studio. So I think I'm going to see if it fits over there with that kind of stuff. That's that's just that kind of stuff, you know. You know how if you've seen the, if you ever bought one of those subscriptions. Or oh, here's some more. Oh, these are super cute. These are little, little tiny playing cards. Really old ones. Really cute. I'm going to put that with those. I'm going to put that up in my playing card drawer. Oh, well, here's some more tickets like that. Oh, no. No, these aren't tickets. These are little fax post-its that people used to use a long time ago. I don't think they've used them in a long time. And so I found this at a thrift store. Here's some coin rollers. Let's see. Little pictures. I picked those up at one point at, um, <clears throat> at um, wish.com. <coughs> oh, these are cigar labels. Those are from Bubblegum Cigar, so... <laughs> <clears throat> I saved those from when my daughter-in-law was born. Here's some more pictures I'll put over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause and go get a drink. I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, bridge tally cards here. There's, um, I've collected these in different places. Thrift stores, estate sales. Let me grab them all out of here. I got some at eBay on eBay at one point. That I found a good deal on some. Uh, I got a couple of these at Tuesday morning. But yeah, those are all bridge tally cards. Yeah. Oh, here's a little Tim Holtz person. I don't know what he's doing in there. He doesn't belong in there. Bridge tally cards. So these are Rolodex cards of... They're white with... Um, they're the... 3 by 5 3 by 5 and so they're the same size as the blue ones. Let's take those over there for a minute. Okay, random stuff here. Oh, here's a little tag that must have fell in here. Grab that out. This is stuff that's going to go somewhere else. Not this, but that right there. Here's my film strips right here, or my negatives. Okay, this is kind of like a Candyland card. These, uh, I think I cut these out of something, like a book. And I just kept them in there. They're little le leaves with the description of the leaves. They're, they're not copies or anything. They're actually from a book. And I thought they were cool. So I cut them. I think I cut them out. I think that's how, how those came about. <laughs> it was a while ago, though. Okay. Uh, nickel roller. Nickel? Dime. <laughs> Dime. Okay. These are... Oh, these are actually match boxes that I got along with those match books which are over here and I'm probably getting in the camera a stamp a random uh escapee stamp so sorry I have to I have to bend down here as I'm organizing stuff so I'm probably getting my head in the camera but that's how it is okay let's see what else we got in here it is good to take even if you think it's organized I found it that I have found that it Here's another little Tim Holtz person. <laughs> They're roaming around my, my craft room at night. <laughs> Climbing into my drawers or something. Okay, so more, more Candyland cards here. Let me put that down. Okay, let's see. We've got some random stuff here. I don't know. Let me gather it all up. Some more of those little cards from Wish. I put those over here. These are some... I sell these in my shop, and I have the ones I sell. Everything I sell in my shop is in another room, pretty much. 
I put some, these are vocabulary cards, but I put these, a few of them in here for me to use. So if I want to grab one, I don't have to, oh, another baby, a baby uh, from the Tim Holtz. That is too funny. They really are just exploring my, <laughs> exploring my craft room when I'm not here or something. Okay. Like the Toy Story people, the toys. <laughs> that, that's the next movie, uh, Tim Holtz people, <laughs> what they do at night. Okay, here's some little uh, frames and uh, whatchamacallit there. And some Rolodex cards. So these are some blank, like plain and some lined. So let me put all the Rolodex cards are going to go over here for the moment. I think that's all. I want to make sure it's all Rolodex cards. It is. Uh, here's some more of these. Uh, I can't think of what they're called right now. One of these these little things. These are most of them I, that I have in here. See, I've sold a lot of these in my shop. And actually, I've sold all the ones I had to sell. And these are just ones I put in here for me. You know, all these little type, whatever these are called. I can't think of it right now. One of those moments when you're on video and you can't think of what things are called. <laughs> okay, all of those together. These are cute little banners that I got and in its and in uh and in state sale. And these are the cats and these are the little girls. So cute. Okay, let's see. Let's some more of the cats. I cut those apart and use them, you know, individually. Okay, these are Monopoly cards right here. I actually have Monopoly cards in another spot too. So I will definitely, because I know there's room in that drawer, little, one of my little plastic drawers over there I was talking about, I have Monopoly cards over there. So those can all go, these can all go over there, even the Monopoly money. This is all Monopoly money here. This is not Monopoly money, but it's kind of like a Monopoly money. It's money. <laughs> so I'm going to put that all over there. The Monopoly money and the money that's not Monopoly money over there. Uh, here's an escapee uh, milk bottle cap. That goes in here. Okay, and here, let's see the last bit. Really kind of just odds and ends that I like to pick up, you know. So this is from a little address book. And so it was pretty organized in here. Like I knew it was in here. It's just hard to come sometimes dig through. Uh, these are name, like name plates or whatever that you put on the inside of a journal and someone can put their name like this book belongs to. This one says, I can't bear to be without my books. I'm not going to open take that time to open them right now because I don't want to run out of time. But let's get all of those together. Let's see. Here's one. Here's some that I made. I copied one that I really liked. And made these so they're distressed and copied onto file folder so they're sturdy. Now here's some more address labels. So I'm going to put all this together right there and let's see uh, more coasters, a couple of coasters. So I'm going to put all the coasters together. Library cards that I received in Happy Mail. Awesome little library cards from Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. I love those. And I guess I will let's see any more address type things. This is address two. This is from something little cards. Like they say, well, it doesn't. It's not address, but it's kind of like phone date. Oh, it's like a little book record. The book was loaned to the date and the phone number of the person. So I'll put that right there. Oh, they go with these. That's right. These are little library cards that I found at the thrift store one time. A little set. It's so cute. You can get it on Amazon, uh, I noticed, but I have never bought one on Amazon. I just got that one. And let me put this random uh, Rolodex cards with the other ones. Okay, so now, now, we, now we need to be quickly put it back in here in some kind of orderly fashion. It was kind of orderly, wasn't it? But a little bit more orderly, and I would like to maybe find a different way to store the stamps. I don't know. That might be the best way, just to leave them in the Ziploc bag, so because they can squish down to however many are in there, like more or less, right? So these are all the library plates, or whatever, the book plates. So I'm going to put those there, the library cards. And this is where about where they were. 
Okay, so uh, let's see. And I kind of, I kind of know where things were, so I kind of want to put them back in order, kind of how they were, so that when I come back in here, I'll be like, oh, yes, I know exactly where those are, because that's where they've always been, right? So they're just all together now, like there's nothing in between the uh, bridge tally cards. They're all together. And now the little pictures, I always have trouble finding those because there's just these little, there, I mean... There's just not very many, so I always have to like figure out where I put those. I think I'm going to put them in the very front right here in the middle of these two stacks. Then I have my Rolodex card, so I have my little ones next that were right here, so they're all together. And let's see, so what else is small? Uh, the small things are a little bit harder to find if they're in the back. So let me grab, I need another rubber band. Here's these uh, Candyland cards. So I'm going to put those there and grab, go around the camera, and grab a rubber band or two. Let me grab these. I should have had some ready, right? Okay, I'm going to go back over the camera. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to put a rubber band around here. Might have to go grab more, right? But they're just so small, and I can stack them on top of each other now, okay? There we go. That works. Okay, let's do all the coasters. I kind of had those right here. And then, let's see, this pile. I don't think we went through this pile. <clears throat> I kind of see how I'm putting everything on this side, then I can see what's, what's what, pretty much. So, the Monopoly money, that's going to, and Monopoly pieces, that's going to give me room. Let's see, what is this? This is a little notepad, I think. It's a little vintage notepad. Put that there. Let's put all these little pieces, <clears throat> these little tree descriptions that I told you about, uh, right there. And then a little, uh, let's put the little, these little things I showed you. Right here, in back of the Rolex cards. And let's see, I'm going to keep these, I'm going to keep it even going back here, or at least that's what I'm going to try to do. So these were over here, so I'm going to put them back over here. Uh, these are some more of these little frames, and this one little random thing here. I will put them right here in between. There's a little space in between the two little stacks here. And then I might, here's a little rubber band. I'm going to put them right around these nickel roll or dime rollers here. And put those in between two. Okay, just be sitting right there. So I'll see them when I open the drawer and be able to find them. All right, so what we have left. This is a big stack here. Let's see. We didn't really go through this because I said I don't want to run out of time. Let me see if I broke them. Oh, that's a string. Okay, so what I have here is, uh, let me see. Let me move my chair up a little bit so you can see. Okay, because I have them in my lap here. So I have, this is an old calendar from 1985. I found it, I don't know if it was on something when I found it or not, but anyway, it's not on anything now. It's just like this, a stack of papers. So I'm going to, uh, I don't really have anything I can put around here right now, and I didn't have anything around them either. So I'm going to keep them in a stack. Here's an old, just an old uh, label or a tag that I found. So I'm going to put that with that. It's just some random stuff here. Let's see, what is this? Is this anything I need to keep or what? I don't know what that is. I don't think I need to keep that. I think that's going to be trash. And I think that's going to be trash too. And this is a, a card. Okay, this is a random card. <laughs> so I'm going to put that up there because I don't want it in here. Oh, here's some guest checks. I need to have those out. I have my guest checks, guest checks on a shelf in my closet. So there you go. I need to put those to, with that. And these are actually some pink dyed ones that I think I will put in there too. So that'll save me some room in here. Some old receipts. So I'll put those with that. Let's see. This is in a bag. What is this? I think it's random stuff. Uh, an old... This is an old envelope via airmail envelope okay that's really cool some paintings there so just random stuff you know that like the, like I said this is my ephemera drawer here's some 
receipts, a whole book. Somebody sent me that in Happy Mail. Another a card. Oh, I think I have my cards elsewhere, so that is going to go in the pile that I have to put somewhere else. The Monopoly money and these odds and ends here. Uh, this is some tickets I found at one point at a thrift store. Just all kinds of odds and ends. Okay, so here's some, just some paper. <laughs> I kind of have paper in another, another drawer too. So this I think I will put up here to put somewhere else. This is an old picture. Um, I forget what these are called, but one of those thick pictures. Okay, more receipts. Okay, let's put that with the other receipts there. These are some cool things that uh, open up. And I can cut these, separate these, and use them individually. But I put these in here in my ephemera door. And here's another one, another set. Okay, here's some pictures. I need to put these with my pictures. All right, let me put these down for a second. Start putting this stuff in here. Okay, so I think that I had... I want it up again on the side, so... Oops, I dropped my pictures. Okay, let's see how much room this takes up. Takes up that much room. And I haven't put my blue roll decks cards in here yet. These are pictures. These are all pictures. Okay. And do I have any more pictures? Yeah, I have a couple more. Here's another picture. Here's a old piece of an envelope. An old. I did not glue this on here, but it looks like someone glued a postcard onto this piece of paper, which is actually very pretty. So I think I'm going to put that with my postcard. So another thing I'm going to put somewhere else. Okay, pictures were right here in front. So I'm going to tuck these in here if they'll fit. Uh, okay, and one of these things I tuck in here. Okay. Now I think I want to... Let me see, yeah, because these will go on their side like this, like they'll fit in there like that, I think. Let me see if the door closes like that, with everything like it is. Yes, it does, okay. And then just everything up there. <laughs> so lots to fit in here, isn't it? Okay, I'm glad I'm putting some stuff somewhere else, other places. Okay, so the rest of the Rolodex cards. This one is open, but... Kind of messy, so I'm going to go ahead and take those out of there. Okay, so these are all open. Those are not open, but I found these at a thrift store. Okay. Now, everything else. Oh, my goodness, I have a lot left. <laughs> okay. All right. So, let me see what I have. Let me put this back in here a little bit. Okay, so I have my bags of stamps. So I'm going to put these back here. That's the... Ones with pictures that I got from an antique store, the U.S. Okay, any more stamps? Yeah. Here's this one. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. I need to dump all of those, these in here. So I'll get rid of this, and these I'm going to dump in here. And have them all together. Or so I think. Yep, they're all in there, but I have to stuff them all down in there now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I think I'm running out of time here. I might have like three minutes left. So I've got to get all these down in there. Oops, they're going, they're going. I really want to be able to close this up, though. That really kind of like almost doubled the size of this bag, though. Okay, but this is... Uh, this is what you got to do sometimes if you want to organize your craft room, right? This is how you do it. Okay, so that bag is done. Now, another bag. So I'm going to put this bag of my matchbooks. My match... Uh, I guess I could stick my match boxes in there too. Just to kind of corral them and not have them wandering around in the store. Okay. And then, so yeah, this works out better with all the like the bags. I kind of had the bags on top of stuff and it was hard to see what was in here. And now all the bags are in the back. Then I have my cigar labels. And those can go back there. My paint chips can fit perfectly right here. My vocabulary cards. 
my uh, negatives when they fit there. They're a little tall. They're going to have to go on their side. Let's see if I can stick them right here. <laughs> Squishing things a little bit there. My milk caps, another bag. Can't let the air out. So that can go right back here in the corner. I've got this little bag of game cards. I'm going to kind of fold that up and stick it right there. You know what? Game cards are up here. I'm going to move that to a different drawer. Uh, that letter that I said I found. Okay, is that everything? This little stack here. Place cards, like, you know, for a table. Little, These are little story. It's about bunnies, which is ephemera. Uh, just some more like notepads and here's some more address forms and oh these are little these are kind of more like uh i might put these in oh, these are just little book pages though i'm going to think about where i want those okay so i'm going to get these separated because i want to put the address pages with the address pages that i showed you i put up here and the rest is just random like little pieces of ephemera so I'm going to end the video here, but you can see it looks a lot, I don't know if you can really tell, but it looks a lot better to me without those bags on top of everything that where I can't see. Now I can see what's in here. So it's really good uh, the way it is now. I like it. I'm glad I took everything out of there. So like I said, two more drawers here and I'll be off to another section, which is under this table right here where I keep a lot of cookbook stuff. So that will be, well, the two drawers and then that. So I don't know, a few more weeks probably. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have be organizing.